and now we will let you rest. But what of you? Are you still afraid of death? Or you are always happy to return home? A believer should not be so much attached to this world. Today, we are full of contention and strife because we begin to assume that this is where we belong to. If you are a Christian and you are a believer, Bible says in Colossians chapter 3, verse 1, let your mind be on things that are above. Your thoughts should reflect on things that are above. And if that is the case, if death is a passage to glory to those who are in Christ Jesus, then what is expected of me and you? Jesus said to them, this is the period you can work on yourself. Baba cannot do this again. I'm not talking to Baba, I'm talking to Rosh. He has gone. There's nothing we can do about it. If he has lived a fake life, if he has lived a good life, it will become a reality. There's no amount of what you can say, either bad or good. Death has no reflection of what you are saying. It has no pain. It has nothing to do. But it is all about you. So you are to draw near to Christ without lingering, without wavering. You need to remain focused in Christ. If you don't know what to do now, how will you be able to live a professional life over there? So you need to live by the revelation of His word. If death be a passage to glory to you and I, then the third point is that life is a privilege. And you need to take advantage to influence humanity positively. Stephen went to Samaria. He told the old Samaria, they were full of joy, they were full of, uh, uh, they were full of comfort, God so much rescued them. And that is what God has called me and you to do. Bible says, we should go out, preach the world, let them know what it takes to be of the kingdom of God. You are to make people around you happy. You are the light that shine in darkness and darkness and not comprehend. But today, because of our shock activities, we are becoming team. In the place where there is no fear, we are afraid. In the place of God where there is comfort, where there is peace, we are in doubt. Because we have not taken advantage of life to use it for God. I will submit with this because I have a limited time. If you are not in Christ, you are living a dangerous life. And if you are caught in that web, you will need to regret forever. If you clean up and hide, death pick him. When the news came in the morning, everybody, later in the evening, it was confirmed. And that was his end. With money, their money is noted that we cannot even recover it. But how many did they take alone? Remember, you brought nothing to this world and you are taking nothing. Even the cause we are looking at Peter this is going to be made choose by the tamad. Baba will not go with this. But Baba has been transformed. He has changed from this mortar to immortal. You can't take anything out of this world to heaven. So I want to challenge you to drop all those things that can be weighed and, and things that can weigh you down. The Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Two benefits. The first benefit is that as a Christian, Bible says that Abraham called his children, he blessed them. Isaac called his children, he blessed them. Jacob called his children, he blessed them. They see death before death. And I noticed that when that daddy was 91 years, he was so much happy. That is in Christ. Daddy said, I can stand, I can shake leg. Daddy even know the future that much is going to live. He still came to the man and can't I stood here. Everybody stood up and they were shouting at the leader because daddy was 91. And just look at it. He was able to see ahead. And that is why to the point of death he was strong and healthy. So the advantage is that when you are in Christ Jesus, 
you will see Christ before death. But if you are not in Christ Jesus, you will see death before Christ. And when you see death before Christ, you have no thought in him. You have missed it. And there's no any argument again. The last point of the benefit is that you will have life eternal. The way we are created, we have to live forever. And that is why every man don't want to die. I will be, it, it will not be a surprise to if somebody just come and they begin to fire a gun. As good as we are with our clothes and everything, we want to escape through windows and through defense means. Because no man is willing to die. Naturally, we are created to live forever. But the sin of Adam and Eve bring a breach. But Christ came to redeem what we have lost in the time of Adam. It means that if you are in Christ Jesus, you live forever. You only change from this mortal to a mortal world. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for a life well spent. A life well spent. I say that I'm you with that in your heart. I say that I'm you with that in your heart. The Lord will protect you. The Lord will keep you. He will fortify you in the name of Jesus. Wherever you go, whether in Nigeria or in abroad, the presence of God will not depart from you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. And all of you now, Baba has gone, you are doing the best you can do to celebrate Him. I pray that this celebration that you are doing today will never, never, never in life be, be spoken against you in Jesus' name. As you are celebrating Him, I pray that God Almighty that has seen in your mind Himself we need to hire, we humble every one of you. You are doing what you can do to your father. The Lord God Almighty will prolong your life and make your children to celebrate you. It is well with you. Peace be unto you. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. You will not regret of this celebration. The presence of God will abide with you. From this moment, in this family and the extended family, we will hear good news. Yeah. Only good news will hear from you. Yeah. The Lord will fill the vacuum for every one of you. Yeah. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. It is well with you. Yeah. In the name of God the Father, yeah. God the Son, yeah. and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Yeah. Let the family you know shout hallelujah.
the minister of God will come first. After that, the children of our departure father will now follow then the congregation. And we should do it, you know, do it fast. You don't need to stay there and begin to cry. You don't need to cry because Baba, you know, is sleeping. I can face tomorrow because it is of fear.
Mrs. Ajibade, Baba Dara Dara Ni, Baba Chojakbe, Onye Mi Olorun, Ola Anu, Osikbe, Ogbe Jesuru, Onsho Ngbogbo Nu, Ogbogbo Ni Nu Oluwa, Baba Rere Ni, Baba Oma Sulaya Jesu, Ni Oluwa Jesu. We are so happy about uh, the life of the chairman because initially he was uh, he was dealing on draft, playing draft. But all of a sudden he blessed Christ, and as he blessed Christ, he continued with Christ till this day. That is one thing I so much cherish in his life, and I hope many people who relate his life, you see? And uh, he has lived a very useful life. At the old age, I, I pray that all, the, all those people too, who are living such a life, they should embrace Christ and be like him. So he has left a legacy for everybody to emulate. Daddy's tenants. Indeed, uh, today is a celebration. Daddy lived uh, a life of emulation. I know he was a Christian and he practiced his Christianity. I believe he is resting in the Lord. He was a very good man. So I know he's in the better place. So may his soul continue resting in peace. Amen. Yes, uh, Daddy was a good man and he was a loving father, like my neighbor said. And we can never, never, never forget him. And we say, and we are very happy that he lived a very good life. And may his rule so continue to rest in perfect peace. Kilaribo, a toti afi ona ragbe kale fun ibado e yolo lufe wa. Lazima awo shiri jang kujako sumo ipeki peki. Fun iro intok berege de. Boshen lolo juagua tibe.